Dog. Welcome to the Mad Dog Gaming. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure and hit the thumbs up like. If you don't, let me know in the comments section of any changes that you'd like to see. Hey everybody, the Mad Dog here. We're going to do a little Arc Age uh, Sharp Wind Mines. Uh, that is the, uh, the newest uh, dungeon. It's the very first level dungeon, level 20. Um, this is going to be a rape fest. As you can see, we got level 32 and level 36 in this group, and uh, we're not going to do any uh, crowd control or anything like that. Um, none of that's necessary when you get this kind of group. But if you come in here with level 20s, level 19s, um, you're going to definitely need to do some uh, crowd control on some of these guys. <coughs> but um, as you see, they'll drop some uh, items that you can pick up and use to. Uh, to enhance your abilities. Um, the graphics on this thing is really nice. Really like the graphics on it. Special effects and whatnot. Look at this electrical effect. Shocks you. This first boss, uh, Nirva, um, she's pretty simple. Basically, she'll uh, she does a slow effect. Um, she'll also jump up in the air, and when she does, you just need to dodge dynamite that she drops. I think in about three different places. Pretty easy to dodge. Um, she also does this effect where she'll throw up a, a bunch of uh, daggers and they'll drop down in your location doing a bit of damage. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward tank and spank. Um, as you see, we're going to just rape her instantly and this really quick kill. Um, not fair. Poor Nerva. <laughs> Is it near, near, I don't know her name yet. So, uh, yeah, so we're just raping her. We're just bend her over backwards here. I think she has a chance to go up once. Here's the slow effect. See that I'm slowed. Last a little while. And then there's the, uh, the daggers that she throws up and they come down. So she goes up in the air, drops dynamite. And then she'll come back down, and uh, that's the end of her. <laughs> so, that is the uh, the first boss encounter. Uh, the next boss, the way that you get to them, is you uh, you come over over here and you uh, interact with this uh, lion head right there that he's interacting with. That's going to open this gate right here. That they're standing at and then inside here you're going to grab one of you needs to grab one of these barrels uh, say he's got a barrel on the back I'm gonna go ahead and grab some extra explosives this is just uh, you can just throw a little bomb but they're gonna go place the barrel over in this location right here and then that's going to blow that open and uh, allow us access to the next boss you don't want to get too close to this uh, otherwise you'll look like an idiot and get blown up uh, it doesn't kill you or do a lot of only it does any damage just, you look stupid, so <laughs> try not to get too close and go, hey, what are y'all doing over there? Oh, crap. <laughs> there I am throwing this bomb. And that's one thing I really like. You can pick stuff up and it uh, does extra extra abilities, extra damage, things like that. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to need a respec because I need some kind of an AoE uh, attack. I have no AoE at all, so I'm just single target. So when something like that occurs, I really need to have some AOE effects. So. Definitely have to respect. And here again, same thing. Need some AOE. But we're just raping right through the uh, trash mobs. Uh, if you come in here with level 20s, you'll definitely need to go a, a bit slower. Um, and this first, this is the second boss here. Uh, pretty simple boss uh, basically he throws rocks and does this one shot thing where he'll just drop like that on top of you if you're a level 20 19 18 even and he does that you're dead so definitely dodge that and he'll throw rocks also which will knock you down um, so you want to try and dodge those as well other than that it's a tank and spank pretty simple just dodge bad stuff stay out of bad stuff and uh, attack them 
as you can see you don't see a, a real big uh, effect underneath you letting you know that something's fixing to hit you um, so I'm just moving I'm just attacking and moving and attacking and moving uh, just to keep from getting hit and I'll still get hit a few times that right there if you were level 20 that would have just killed you. He's level 32, so he survived it. But uh, level 20, that's a one shot. And see, it did quite a bit of damage to me, that rock. But uh, pretty simple. Just stay out of bad stuff, you know, typical stuff. my little damage <laughs> and he's down it's pretty simple stuff with him now this other boss he's uh, there's no trash mobs left uh, but we basically have to do the same thing we've got to go get a, uh, a barrel and uh, we're gonna put it right in front of this area right here and blow that up so that allows you access to the final boss pretty easy uh, dungeon uh, but again you know we're level 32 and 36 respectively and my little 19 is not uh, not too powerful so this group is really OP as far as these guys go they're just re they're just wrecking it I would suggest bringing someone a little higher than level 20 in a group with you um, just helps you to get through it a little bit better, do a bit more damage. Um, these bosses can be a little difficult, especially this guy here. This guy that we're coming up on, um, uh, random rock just falls on you, isn't that great? Uh, this guy coming up here, he's he's a little difficult, especially if you're all level 20 or below. Uh, he will uh, spawn adds, two adds. You need to take those out immediately. Um, anybody who's not being targeted by the boss needs to take out the ads and he will spawn these uh, tornadoes and you definitely need to stay out of the tornadoes they put a dot on you damage over time and it will kill you quickly now the one good thing is the uh, uh, the the, uh, the ads they will when they die they'll drop a shield which you can pick up and it will shield you a bit so helps you out quite a bit in the fight but uh, as you can see, we're extreme OP group here. We're just going to rape the hell out of this guy. You're not going to know what hit him. And that's uh, that's pretty much this this entire dungeon. Um, that's uh, that's how you do it. Stay out of bad stuff. I mean, you know, typical. So there's the tornado I was telling you about. And then there's the ads that come up take out the ads and if you notice the if you go over the top of those guys you'll have the option to pick up a shield um, I'm getting beat up a little bit here definitely stay out of the tornadoes that's the main thing those tornadoes are bad so here see right here I can pick up the shield so I pick up the shield and it just helps you out a little bit, but not necessary with this group. Like I said, it's a total rape fest. Yay, I got some plate armor. That's really good for a mage. Uh, that's one of the really cool things about the game as well. You, uh, you're not restricted on types of armor that you can wear. So that's always nice, too. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the dungeon. Uh, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's a lot better if you come in here with... Uh, level 20 people and, and don't just rape the thing uh, but uh, I wanted to get through it for you guys so I you know, wanted to make sure that we got through to all bosses so I went ahead and put together a decent group I hope you all enjoyed it thanks for tuning in to Mad Dog Gaming uh, please subscribe post a like comments have a good one